All right, so in this short video, I'm just going to be talking about the proven formula to rank in Google quickly. So basically, there are two main ways to go about getting Google rankings. So here's what you, you want to do as of 2018. Number one, quality <laughs> quality content now what makes up quality content i know you're asking right so the first thing is content length that is important that is a google ranking factor google takes a look at that to go you know how much information are you providing these people a good rule of thumb, now you can go, whatever your topic is, type that into Google, see what the top 10 results are on the first page, and you can kind of see based on that, you know, how many words are they using in their posts. But I can almost guarantee you it's gonna be more than a thousand. A good rule of thumb is anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 words but like I said go ahead and go into Google search your own topic go to the top you know nine ten results check in there see what how how long their blog posts are and go ahead and use that as a good rule of thumb the other thing that makes up quality content is and this is also now another ranking factor sorry if you can't read readability <laughs> even though you can barely read that it's readability of your articles so if you use wordpress WordPress actually has a little inbuilt thing um, if you use Yoast SEO plugin, which we will be talking about in just a moment. You can actually see what your level of readability is. So it's either going to be red, I think yellow or an orange or green. And that just means if it's red, you need to improve your readability. If it's orange, it's okay, but you should probably improve it. And if it's green, you're good to go. So readability is another ranking factor now that Google looks at to go, you know, is this quality content? And finally, and the a thing about readability is keep your sentences really short and easy to read. So that's kind of like the number one tip I can give you when it comes to improving your readability. And finally, for quality content, another thing that they look for is optimization. How, how are you using those keyword terms, right? And there there is a certain way to optimize our posts, which is what this whole course is about. And we're gonna be getting to that in just a second. But these are the three main things that determines if it's quality content or if it's not. So that is, is how to determine if you have quality content in a nutshell. The other thing I would also add We'll add one more thing, and that would be media or creative. Basically, what I mean by that is things like graphics, videos, or video, and audio even. But graphics and video, definitely, you want to uh, go ahead and create your own. Make sure that you have something in there that's unique to you and that you've created. Um, always original content. That's, that's just without being said nowadays. If you have duplicate content, Google can give you a slap for that. And it's, it's just not worth it, in my opinion you're not going to rank for anything and it is a detriment so i definitely wouldn't go down that route at all and finally 
The second thing that you want to focus on is consistency of creating this content. The reason that consistency is important is because we talked a little bit about how the search engine spiders work and they go through and they crawl your website and they especially do that when there's new content. Whenever there is new content, you are getting indexed right away. And not only that is now and more and more, this is probably going to be, you know, becoming a, a more important ranking factor, but relevancy and not only relevancy, but how 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 updated is this material so if it was just created or updated yesterday or a week ago that's going to be way better than something that was posted a year ago and hasn't been updated at all so i guess along with consistency we can add update content regularly Because every time that you update something, even if it's been a, a even if it's a blog post that you created like a year ago, two years ago, three, four years ago, just go in there and update it a little bit, just so that Google sees that it's been updated and you're going to show up in the SERPs a lot higher now. Because like let's say that you have old blog posts that aren't really long, go go in there, add some more content to them, and re-optimize them. And I bet you that you'll be seeing new rankings that you haven't been seeing because number one, you updated something. It's given the Google bots a chance to go ahead and re-index that content now for another time. Not only that, if you add more words, then it's going to be able to rank you higher because they see that you are creating higher uh, quality content. So those are my two biggest I don't know what you want to call them. I guess that's just my my go to formula that I always just keep in mind and what I tell people when they ask, oh, how can I improve my rankings? I get that question so, so often. And this is what I tell people focus on creating quality content consistently. And I give them these little tips because this is what Google wants. If you keep creating quality content on a consistent basis, then you are going to get more website traffic you're going to get more website visitors you're going to have visitors stay on your website longer and that those are the top ranking factors right there so you kind of need these two things in order to even be able to earn more website traffic and people staying on your site longer so that is why i i recommend these two things so much with that being said, continue on with me in this course and we will continue right along with SEO and optimizing your WordPress website.